Okay, so how do we find a domain range from a table? Um, well, you take a look at your table and you go back and you think about what are some other names for X and Y. I know another name for X is inputs and another name for Y is outputs. So that helps us, but that's not what they want. They want the domain in this case. So then you got to remember, oh yeah, domain is another name for all the X's and range is another name for all the Y's. So since they want the domain, we just have to get all the X's. So you write domain on your paper and um, you'll see they, they kind of put this weird um, parentheses. I guess you could think of it as a bracket, that sort of thing. It's kind of a fancy one. I can't remember the exact name, but you'll see it like this. And they usually list them. And usually it's from, from least to greatest, okay? So it's not the order that you see them. It's usually in least to greatest. Um, another thing that they'll do a lot of times is um, the math books usually will give you an example. Instead of writing out uh, domain, they'll just put like a capital D there to stand for domain, and that's kind of the format they want. If they said, please find the range, well, keep in mind the range is just a list of all the Y's, so 0, 20, and 40, and in, in this case, it's already ordered from us from least to greatest, so we just write range, or R, and then 0, 20, and 40, and that's all they want.